In 1936, Max and Emma Hahn found an unusual rock near London, Texas. A piece of wood was visibly sticking out from the rock. Years later, their son broke the rock open. Inside, he discovered an iron hammer. The hammer appeared to be encased in the ancient stone. This artifact became known as the London Hammer. The London Hammer is a small tool, approximately six inches in length. It consists of a partially petrified wooden handle and an iron head. The artifact is considered an out-of-place artifact due to its supposed age. Its existence challenges established geological timelines, sparking debate. Creationists have asserted that a rock concretion encasing a hammer dates to the Cretaceous period. The Cretaceous period spans approximately 100 to 115 million years ago. This assertion implies the existence of a human-made tool millions of years before human evolution. The claim is thus presented as a challenge to standard evolutionary timelines. The hammer was discovered loose inside a concretion. The concretion was found in a creek bed, not embedded in solid limestone. Concretions are geological formations that solidify around a nucleus. They develop rapidly within softer sedimentary layers. This formation process often occurs within relatively short timescales. Concretions can form within decades or centuries. Concretions are solid, dense masses composed of mineral matter. They are created through mineral precipitation from groundwater. This precipitation occurs around a central object or nucleus. The process results in the gradual accumulation of minerals. Concretion formation can happen relatively quickly, not over millions of years. The concretion's limestone composition includes fossils from the Cretaceous period. This fossil evidence suggests that the minerals originated from local Cretaceous strata. The presence of Cretaceous-era fossils indicates the age of the mineral source. However, the age of the mineral source does not automatically determine the age of the concretion. The concretion itself may be younger than the Cretaceous period. Therefore, further analysis is needed to determine the concretion's specific formation timeline. Metallurgical analysis was conducted on the iron head of the hammer. The analysis revealed a consistent material quality throughout the hammerhead. The absence of slag suggests the hammer was not of ancient origin. Unusual impurities, such as chlorine, were detected in the iron. The presence of chlorine indicates a 19th century industrial smelting process. Therefore, the hammer's creation 